Well, without conversation and education, Montana agriculture would not be able to flourish. In the Great Falls area, Chamber of Commerce hosted its annual Future of Ag Tour, highlighting an industry once prominent in the Treasure State. That's the sound of 100 years of tradition. The oldest industry in the world. In that industry is sheep production, a trade that sustained generations of the McCamey family. Everybody that's involved with this operation, all of our family members uh, really uh, dedicate a lot of extra time and effort. And it's more than uh, just what the money provides. It's also, you know, uh, providing a sustainable source of food and fiber. Merrill McCamey is the McCamey West ranch manager. With the uncertainties of ag business, Merrill has made sacrifices to ensure his family ranch operation lasts through the next generation. His mom, Wendy McCamey. This is a wonderful way of life, but it is not a real lucrative living. And it takes uh, someone who is dedicated and is committed to to the whole idea of the perpetuation of the legacy of what is here. Um, so we have, you know, five generations here now. Those sacrifices lead us to where we are today, a field day to share an industry that was lost following the First World War. The more we can kind of piece things together, the, the more we see that we're all related and we're all in this together. And that's what's really neat about it, how one aspect of this industry, ag, and the different components of just the sheep and lamb and just how far that goes and spread out. The sheep industry and city commerce are connected by the food we eat, the clothes we wear, and an appreciation we have for all things agriculture. It's all hands on deck for sheep production partners alike, including Duckworth Wool Company, who, alongside McCamey's, are building a better market for Montana sheep products. One of the biggest issues that Montana wool producers face is just having a really good market for their wool. Um, and we're growing that demand as fast as we can so we can buy more Montana wool, more American wool, and, and supply a, a superior product to the American consumers. With that fair market comes educating the consumer, like Patty Coleman. I think I've always been a little afraid. I've never really ate lamb, you know, kind of a beef girl. And, and so that was very interesting, just to get to try the lamb. We had it for lunch, and I'm going to give it a try. I, I think I'll, next time I'm in a nice restaurant, I'll try some. A plentiful experience for the future of agriculture. We really feel that we have, you know, a story about sustainability to share and we also have a story of uh, stewardship, land stewardship, livestock stewardship and, uh, you know, we feel like generationally, you know, we instill those values from one generation to another.